December is a time for sumo wrestlers to review their year, especially at the prompting of the press. Takakesho therefore describes his 2021 as a year of peaks and troughs. He began it, you may remember, streets ahead of Tedo Fuji as prime candidate for Yokozuna. Only to turn his ankle in January. For an Ozeki I was about up to scratch in March and May, he said of the meets which followed, but July was a huge setback. I get electric shock style pains in my neck every day, you know, but in that bout they were on a completely new scale, and it took a long time for me to mount a proper charge with the head again. Indeed, our new YouTube friend, ex wrestler Mizuguchi, referenced his own experience when explaining the effects of Takakesho's trapped nerve in the cervical spine. It's not a case of his being scared of the pain, as Chairman Hakkaku might have us believe, he said. Once those nerve roots are irritated, your power just isn't there. My grip strength dropped from 80 to 10 kilos when it happened to me. Mizuguchi suspects some selective nerve root block injections might have helped Takakesho through September. The Ozeki himself simply tells us that he felt half done by day three, but always believed he could turn things around. And come November, Takakesho continues, my neck was somewhat better, which is why I started so well. Asked to sum up his headline bout with Tedo Fuji, he replied, Losing on the final day was hard, as a win would have made quite a dent in his armour, I reckon. But the real shame for me was losing those two bouts before the final day, and not even being in a position to take the title from him. I therefore feel I must brush up my pushing and thrusting yet further. I just need to be stronger. In his column for Sports Hochi, veteran coach Oguduma hailed the match as a prelude to the Tedo no Fuji era, which he expects to take shape in 2022. Here, the Yokozuna was cool as he'd already won the cup, Oguduma wrote. He remained calm even when pushed about, and you really saw the gap he's opened up with Takakesho. Given that Hakuho retired this year, I actually shudder to think what would have happened had Tedo no Fuji not bounced back. However, I still have hopes for Takakesho. He is still the top Yokozuna candidate. The second week of December has seen Takakesho train at a comfortable pace. I'm still building my body back up, he reports. You've got to get over the mental and physical fatigue from the last tournament. Takakesho's two withdrawals allowed Mitake Umi to steal second place in the annual wins chart, recording 55 to Tedo no Fuji's 77. Mitake sums up his year of six winning scores with the kanji character sewn into his silk apron. Kan, or seeing things through. Each time I told myself nothing less than eight wins would do, he says, and used that desire as the springboard to reach double figures twice. The second of those fine showings was of course last month, about which he says, I wasn't in amazing condition, but it was nice to see my brain and body in lockstep. And I let go of my defeats quicker than usual. I didn't get too worked up. Achieving my double figure goal in November was definitely a step forward. And when he speaks about 2022, there seems a hitherto unheard urgency in his voice. The 55 wins are a sign of my confidence. That's what I tell those who ask me. I've been in these top ranks a long time now, and I know what I'm capable of. But I guess I've now got to convert this confidence into certainty. The conviction that I'm going to get those 10 wins. I still want to make Ozeki someday, and feel there are things I must do to get there. Realistically, I've got to get there next year, before I'm 30. Because even retaining Sekiwake and Komusubi after 30 is quite a task.